Um, big time game that uh, we didn't show up to play. Uh, FAMU, Coach Simmons, that entire staff did a great job getting those guys prepared. Uh, I take ownership of it as the head coach. You know, I got to have my football team ready to play. It started from the opening kickoff with that big kickoff return by them. We quite, you know, didn't quite uh, recover from that whole deal. But, you know, our tempo wasn't there. I just didn't see the team that I saw week one. So I, I take, you know, complete ownership. And we got to be better this week going into practice, getting ready for uh, another road game down here in Baton Rouge. Appreciate those opening comments, Coach. First question goes to Dr. Cavill. This is Kenyatta Cavill, Dr. Cavill's inside the HBCU Sports Lab. How you doing this afternoon, Coach Taylor? I'm good. How you doing, Doc? Man, I'm fighting through it. I'm fighting through it, Coach. That's all I wanted can. to ask you a little bit about – go ahead. No, you got interrupt. it. Okay, I wanted to ask you a little bit about the defensive side of the ball. Um, in, in terms of what the teams were able to do. Week zero against South Carolina State, you were able to rush pretty effectively, not so much against FAMU, and it seems like uh, Southern pretty stout on the defense. What would you like to see in terms of mixing it up between your offensive defense? I mean, your um, passing and running the ball. Um, we, you saying as far as our offense, Doc? Yes. Well, uh, if you watch that game and you look at it our first week, the tempo was we didn't ha we didn't play with any tempo. You know, I, I talked to our offensive staff about it. We got to get back to playing fast. We didn't really have a, any tempo out there with our offensive unit, O line, uh, quarterback, receivers, running backs, and um, just the physicality. You know, uh, I feel like Fam came across and hit us in the mouth, and we didn't respond. You know, we didn't respond. But anytime a team jumps out on you like that, you can't turn the football over. We had two turnovers. Jason just drops the ball on one. Irv had one where he put on the ground. It hurt us uh, towards the end when we were trying to fight to get back in the football game. And we got to continue to work on this, these red zone scoring opportunities. Um, we had one uh, early in the game where we um, they, they score on the kickoff return. We drive the football, do a great job. Um, getting down there, offense sputters, and then we get the long snapper to snap it over the head. We get three points right there. kind of, you know, calms everybody down, makes it a 7-3 game. We regroup and get back at it. But, you know, that, that uh, that's the thing, that the biggest thing that I talk to my staff about, you know, for us, what we got to do is get back to playing fast, playing with some tempos, trust our calls, and go with what we believe. Follow-up question is just about that in terms of the philosophy of working with young men. The ups and downs, first three weeks, big, big games, mm -hmm. uh, including this next one where we go against a rival, uh, going down to Baton Rouge, to the bluff. Talk about the emotional state uh, and the uniqueness of, of trying to get young folks to certain level that you would like them to be able to put, play at. Well, you, you get back in here and you get back at it. Uh... Uh, all I know to do is get back to work. But the, the main thing, what I did with these guys is pointed out, you know, the the reasons that we didn't compete in that game, some things we could have uh, been better at, you know, and that's my job as the head coach, uh, you know, but uh, you just take it, you know, uh, we did our, well, we had a team meeting this morning. We gave them yesterday off, but we, we pointed out the turnovers again, you know, the things we did in the red zone. We did a, a bad job of tackling. You know, you look at those big backs was running the ball on us. We didn't wrap up on some tackles. They had over 200 yards rushing. I thought uh, I know we're a better uh, tackling football team. I didn't think we got to the ball with the same tenacity that I seen the previous week. So you point out those things to your team. You know, you get out here tonight. We'll get out there tonight and correct them in practice and, and start uh, preparing for a, a Southern team in Baton Rouge this weekend. Thank you, Coach. Look forward to the matchup. All right. Thank you. Next question goes to Mason Smith. Good afternoon, Coach. Obviously, it wasn't the result that you wanted, but I wanted to ask about with Southern coming up, you've always kind of had an advantage, you know, winning against FAMU and kind of starting on the right foot in terms of conference play. But well, now kind of like it's on the other foot, you're 0-1 in conference play. How does that kind of, you know, affect your mindset going into Southern, of course, the rest of the year? Uh, it doesn't really affect my mindset. Like I said, it's the next game on the schedule for our football team. We're going to, we got to prepare just like we, um, you know, prepared the previous two weeks. It's the same deal though. We got to eliminate the things that got us beat. You know, we got to uh, eliminate those things and just get this football team ready to play. I challenged everybody. I challenged our coaches, 
you know, our football team players, you know, special teams, it just everybody got challenged this week to come out here this week and, you know, be the, the football team that I know we could be. And a quick follow-up, uh, we saw Jason Brown kind of grab at his hand during the games, want to ask for update on him if he's good to go against Southern. Uh, we think uh, he should be fine. You know, he got banged up a little bit. We did x-rays waiting to see how that uh, play out, but we're expecting Jason to be up, uh, upright and ready to go this weekend. Thank you, Coach. No problem. Next question goes to Kendrick Marshall. Yeah, Coach, um, in the game uh, uh, Saturday, um, special teams seem to be your guys' bugaboo, um, not just with the opening kickoff, but with some other big returns. What adjustments um, are you guys going to make moving forward in that area of your of your game? Uh, we got to uh, look. We looked at that as well. It's some deal uh, deal where we got to make some adjustments as far as our personnel. Uh, some guys just look disinterested in being out there, and that's on me. Like I said, as a head coach, to get that fixed. But kudos to uh, Coach uh, Simmons and his staff. You know they had a schemed up pretty good. They had some electrifying players back there touching the football, but. We we got to be better there. You know that's a, special teams plays a big part in, that, in in football games, and you saw that this weekend. I think uh, what about two hundred thirty, close to two hundred thirty yards in return yardage. You're not going to win a football game like that. You're not going to win a football game uh, when the long snapper uh, goes out there and snaps the ball over the, um, the holder's hand over the holder's head. So, you know, I thought that was a big difference in the football game. You know, they came out and really dominated us on special teams. As a quick follow-up, Coach, um, uh, Zy McDonald got extended period of time on the field after um, Jason um, was injured. Mm -hmm. How do you figure in, in the game plan moving forward? Are you guys going to go with a two-quarterback system or are you going to stick with, with Jason to start as long as he's healthy? Um, that's some things we'll work on this week. You know, we'll work on this week, get out there, practice, get all that stuff hashed out. Um, like I said, it, it, it's still, for me, the guy that's, you know, the best leader on the field, get us back to playing with that tempo, make good decisions with the football. But um, kudos to Zai. You know, he came out there. He fought well. He, he showed some ten, uh, some toughness out there. Uh, had a big uh, big time play. One of our explosive plays to Rico Powers down the sideline. You know, a great throw on that. But uh, he got us up and down the field good. You know, did just what we asked him to do. But that's some things we'll work out this week as a staff, and you know, make a decision going into this week. All right. Thanks, Coach. Mm -hmm. Last question goes to Michael Jefferson. Good afternoon, Coach. This is Michael Jefferson with Block Sports. Uh, Coach TC, uh, tough one to take on the chin. Mm -hmm. And uh, my question, one of my questions that I have, two quick questions. Uh, do you think the team was just a little complacent uh, after have just coming out and just really having a great showing against South Carolina State? I, I don't want to say so much as complacent. We felt like we had prepared our team, and they 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 seemed focused and ready to go. Uh, it was just the deal. Well, fam was the better team that day. You know, uh, shoot, we had so, everything for our football team that could have went wrong went wrong out there on uh, Sunday. But I, I don't want to make any excuses. Like I said, that falls on me as a head coach. Um, I got to get this team ready to play. Um, we preach physicality here, and we just didn't see it. Bam, you know, they they bullied us the entire football game. And like I told them in meetings today, uh, you know, the rest of the SWAC is going to see that. Either we're going to respond or it's going to continue that way. And I, I just know from what I saw week one to week this next week, this game that we just uh, previously had, it was a tale of two teams. And it, it's up to me to get this team to play back on that level that we saw in week one. Well, in the second half, the defense really actually started stepping up. So can you take some positives in from that going into the Southern game? Oh, definitely. Uh, definitely. I, and not just the defense, you know, I challenged them at the half because it could have really gotten out of it really, really ugly. It, you know, I, I was really pleased that our team didn't lay down and they came out and still competed. You know, and that's something we I told them we can build on. Uh, but, yeah, I was real, very pleased with the way the defense came out in the second half. Still was too many missed tackles, missed opportunities. They had the one explosive pass play that uh, Jaheim, our corner, did a great job of running that down, and we end up blocking a kick on that. But they competed well toward, in, in the second half. If you look at it, I, I think we won the second half 10 nothing. you know, and yes, you take sir. away a lot of those special teams mishaps. You never know what that football game looks like. But overall again we got to be better you know um going forward as a program